Welcome back to Public Affairs on Peach. And as we recognize people making a difference in the African-American community, we pause for a profile of a creative music teacher. Our Will Frampton came away impressed after meeting Marcus Blackwell. So here's how it works. By the time Marcus Blackwell is finished with class, his students aren't thinking about how much math they've studied. They're just thinking about the new song they've learned. One, two, three. Blackwell's goal is to keep students from dwelling too much on the math, rather just enjoy the music. I really think that this will be a new way to teach mathematics. A classically trained pianist, Blackwell says he too struggled with math as a kid. Then he found himself teaching music to his friends using numbers for notes and chords. That's when math became fun. He decided to try the approach with teenagers. I've taken everything musical and turned it into a math definition. It's all in his self-published textbook, Make Music Count. His students, like Adam Johnson, are buying in. It gives you a new way of thinking how we add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But to really make the program work, Blackwell has to make the music and the math relevant to 13-year-olds. Rihanna may have never known her music could be used this way. Shine bright like a diamond. Mm -hmm. We're beautiful like diamonds. And so that's essentially the chord structure of that song. And it tells the kid, you know, I need to count these movements to get to the next musical note to find my answer. And then when you have all your answers and you play them all together, it plays the featured song. He came up with the idea last summer and pitched it to 50 schools, of which two or three went for it. That number grew to five. Ten and now 15 schools across the state use his program. Wow, that is amazing. So the number of schools has doubled since Will did that story in 2014. And Morehouse grad Blackwell is enjoying using music to get kids turned on to math. Stay with us, though. You are going to learn more about a literary club that is now in its second century. You heard me. You are watching Public Affairs on Peach. You don't want to miss this.